Hi everyone and welcome back to Letty Sparkle. Um, if you're new here, I'm Letty. I'm a 35 year old crazy makeup person who loves all things makeup. So if that's the sort of thing that you enjoy, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be playing with some new makeup today. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to play with some new makeup, some makeup that I got for my birthday. Um, I'm really sorry, my hair is not looking its greatest, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, so yes, yeah, so some of it I got for my birthday, some of it I purchased in the super drug when I did um, buy one get one free and that sort of thing. So I'll go through everything with you. So if you want to watch, um, if you want to see um, what I'm going to be playing with, then please just keep on watching. Right, okay. So I've just had a quick swatch of the foundation on my face and it's so, so light. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I got seven, which is biscuit. Um, this is the, that would help, wouldn't it? This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Foundation. So it looks so, so good, but I'm gonna try it. Um, Cause I've got like a high t-shirt on, I'm gonna have to go down, down my neck. And we'll try and bronze it up and stuff. So um, I don't have enough for like a full face of makeup. So it's not a full face of first impressions or anything. I just wanted to play with some makeup basically. So I've got a few new bits that I got, some of it, are things that I've bought and not really used, so I just thought I'd try it here. So, um, yes, yeah, so got my wet sponge. I actually think that I got a concealer that's far, far too dark for me, so I have got like my collection one here as well, just in case. So, I'm just gonna pop my hair just back while I'm doing my makeup, just to get out of my face, because I get a bit like closer right back with it. So, I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand. Uh, and you never know, it might, um, it's so light. I'm just going to take it as far down my neck as I can. I feel like a ghost. I can't believe it. I wish I'd kind of swatched it when I got it. I only just literally just swatched it so I could have then gone and got some, gone to Superdrug and got one myself. So it's pretty full coverage to be fair. I'd say it's probably medium. And my concealer is like really dark. <laughs> Oh, I'm so annoyed. So, so annoyed. I swear this concealer, this concealer, I can just see it's so, so dark. That's like the perfect shade for me. Look how dark it is. Yeah, I can't use that. Okay, this is the perfect foundation shade actually for me right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my, um, this was the e.l.f. camouflage concealer. I was really looking forward to using that one. So I'm gonna go in with the, um, this is the collection, Last Imperfection Perfecting Concealer. Again, this is a really good shade for me, um, but not with this foundation, so. It's really hard to judge the foundation when I look like this. I know you're not supposed to conceal your eyes, but I'm going to. So there you go. I feel awful. I really don't like this at all. Okay, I'm gonna bronze up with all powders now. So I'm just gonna go in and set my face with the um, Charlotte Tilbury, I got this for my birthday, it's a Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish, can put in two medium, so maybe this will bring my foundation like a bit more to my skin colour. It's not looking so bad now, so this is um, the shade that I've got. Again, I don't think it's my shade, I think it's probably, but I didn't have many shades, so I'm just going to go in with like a big fluffy brush. I 
I am purposely doing one side of my face just so that I can see if there is a difference between the two. So this is um, for an all over perfecting finish, brush onto an entire face, brushing out, up and out. So up and out. I'm gonna have to come back in with my Real Techniques one, so I'm sorry about my hair. Okay, so I actually think it has, like it's very, it's pretty much mattified my whole face. And it has kind of made it a bit more yellow toned. It says to brush it up and out. I prefer to kind of pat it. I totally forgot to set my under eyes. So I'm going to take a little, take my setting brush into that same powder. Because, you know, why not? And just set my under eyes. I should have um, gone back in again. So my face is looking pretty mad. It's not looking actually as bad as I thought. So it's not too, too bad. Oh, that was a bit of a... So that's a really nice powder. My skin does look pretty flawless. Um, yeah, I do like that. Let's see how that works. I should have really used that on a foundation that I know I love, but it looks good. Um, I would still need a darker shade than this foundation, though. I still look a little bit ghostly. So, I mean, you can see it from the video, but yeah, it just doesn't look as awful as I had imagined in my head that it was going to look. So that's a plus, I suppose. I'm just going to go and do my brows off camera and then I'll be right. So this is the brows done. So, um, yes, they're not perfect as usual. I don't know what I do to my brows, but they never come out how I want them to. So today we're going to be playing with this Lottie London palette, which is um, Living My Best Life. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. This is what it looks like. Wait for the colours to focus, because look at those. So that blue, that turquoise is just insane. So yes, beautiful, beautiful palette. To start with... I'm going to go in with like a big fluffy brush. This is from um, Spectrum C06 brush and I'm just getting a colour switch. So my face still looks very pale on camera but in real life it doesn't look that bad. And it might not look that bad while I'm editing anyway so I'll stop talk saying it and stop talking about it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go in with Chikatarian which I love that name Chikatarian. I'm definitely a Chikatarian. Um, it's that one there. So you're going to go with that one there, it's a Chikatarian. I like in my like crease straight away all the way into my inner corner. This is a lovely warm brown. And this brush is really, really good for blending. Same on this side. So I kind of wish I'd waited to do my eyeshadow collection until after my birthday. <laughs> I should have known I'd get a few more palettes. But hey ho. I think my next collection one, because I just did my MAC one, um, is actually... I think I said I was going to do my highlighters or my blush. Um, I'm going to bring a little bit more into this inner corner here. Okay, I quite like how that's looking so far. So maybe a little bit more in this outer corner here. And kind of blend it all in. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with like a big fluffy brush. This is my Sigma, my Sigma E40. I'm going to go into shade literally, which is this one here. I 
which is this one here. And I'm just going to kind of take that kind of above just to blend that brown out. It might be a bit bright. I'm literally barely touching my skin. It's just literally very, very light. Just to kind of blend that shade out a little bit. Okay, I'm not liking how it's looking on camera, so hopefully it'll look a bit better on video. So I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush now. This is a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill uh, JH40. It's like a little tiny blending brush, I really like it. And I'm gonna go into shade Hey Guys, which is this like brown here. And that brown there. And I'm gonna go in a bit more precise in my crease. and take that a bit more in my inner corner. Now, this always looks a mess until the end, so bear with. And then I'm gonna go in with a Spectrum B06 brush and just kind of blend all of that out. It's a clean brush, I've not added any extra product on there. I really, really want to play with that blue because that's beautiful. I just don't know if to do it underneath the eye or just go for it and just do it on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deepen it up a little bit with the shade Red Velvet, which is this one here. And this might be a mistake, but it might work. So it's when it focuses, I'm going to play with, I'm going to deepen it up a little bit with this shade here. Red Velvet with the same JH40. I'm just going to deepen this up, just to add another dimension to it. Okay, I like that. And again on this side. Oh, I always do my eyes first and I completely forgot today. I think I was just too excited to try that foundation. Okay, and then with that clean spectrum brush, just gonna go back in and just kind of buff that together with the ones that were on top, just very, very gently. I'm barely, barely touching, just literally in circular motions, kind of buffing that into my skin. With that same brush there, which is a Sigma. I'm going to go back into Chikatera, which is the first shade we used. And I'm just going to kind of take that on my crease, like above my crease a little bit, just to kind of blend that out and kind of bring that shade back in again. And then I think I'm going to go in with a cut crease. But before I do that, I'm just going to get that JH40. I'm going to go back into Red Velvet, just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to bring that in my inner corner or quite deep just in that little corner so when I do my cut crease you can actually see the definition of it like so and then go back in with that spectral brush just to kind of buff that out again I have very very round eyes so like my eye shape. Um, so, cutting me crease. Let's get, uh, I wasn't planning on doing that. So use my Revolution cut crease canvas. So let's just do that. I don't like this brush. I'm just gonna apply some of it on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use a um, P. Louise um, X Mimitral Acid Rain brush. Um, so I'm just gonna cut my crease. And to do that, I just literally Close my eyes, I go in like this, and you look up so you know how far up you need to go. So that's that done. 
not breathe. And then to try and match them, which is the hardest bit. Also, in one of my next videos will be my uh, MLM experience, so it's like multi-level marketing companies. I had filmed actually, but I wasn't happy with the video and the information I give on it, so I didn't really give any information on it. So I'm going to refilm it. The look I did on it was really lovely actually. Um, but I have posted it on my Instagram, but obviously I edited the video and I uploaded it, or tried to upload it and the system crashed. Um, and it deleted the, the edited version of the video. Uh, and then I went to edit again and I just wasn't happy. So I kind of took that as a sign that maybe I wasn't supposed to post it. So I actually quite like that cover. It's a bit higher than I normally go for. Um, but yeah, I have quite a lot of lid space. So when I look up, you can still see my lid, which I'm very lucky I know. So let's um, go in with that blue. I really want to do that blue, so let's just do it. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush, if I can find a clean one. My brushes need cleaning, I think that's going to be my job for tomorrow afternoon. Um, so I've got a flat brush, this is actually from Mask, I got it from um, like a beauty box. I'm going to go in with a brush first and then I'll go in with my finger if I need to. So again, the shade blue is called Rebel for Life. And I'm just going to go... Oh. Okay, I'm going to go with a smaller brush to get right into the edge, right down to the edge. This is like a Studio London, it hasn't got a name on it or anything, but it's a pretty small brush. I'm just going to kind of and it's a bit of fallout with this one, which is a bit annoying. might not be the best brush let me just try hmm maybe this one this is a spectrum a16 I just want it I just want a brush to get to the edge yeah this one is And I might brighten that up with some glitter, because, you know, why not? Right, let me go in with my finger. Wow, okay. Such a pretty shade. Right, and to blow, blend that in, to that sort of colour here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the sparkly red. Um, that might be a mistake, but let me just try and see how it kind of works. Okay, I'm just going to try. Okay, it flicked right off, so this is how it's looking so far. I'm really sorry, I don't know if it's been in focus. Let me bring a bit closer for me to do this eye, and then at least you can see this eye. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there. So I'm going to go in with that Spectrum brush into that blue shade. I'm just going to go in straight into it. Wow, okay. I will marry those two up, don't worry. I'm going to kind of deepen it up a little bit with the black. Um, so, just going to go back in with that big brush just to kind of pat all of that in place. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a little tiny bit of that um, red shade, like I did on this eye, and just kind of pop that at the end there just to blend the two together 
And then I go in with the two matte shades that I used just in there to kind of marry all that up. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for now on that one. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in with Again, in that Jaclyn Hill um, brush, I'm going to go in with the black. Just a literally a tiny little smidge at the edge of the brush and kind of go in to that inner corner. To that inner corner just to kind of deepen that up a little bit. I'm just going to brush my face off, hang on, because it's got loads of bits of, like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with my spectrum brush and just kind of blend that out, like so, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with that Hey Guys shade and just kind of take that on the end of like crease. Oh sorry, I thought I was filming but clearly I was not. So I've just put a little bit of the Trichotarian as well, just under the eye and kind of tried to kind of make it into like an apathy. My eye shape does not like this for some reason, but I think it doesn't look too too bad. And I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm not hating how that's looking. It's looking very grungy like than my last look to be honest. Uh, which isn't what I wanted. Um, and I'm going to go in with a bit of glitter because I think it needs it. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of um, silver glitter just like on the crease line. Just like so. Oh, I don't like it. Mm, I'm not keen on it, but I have to do the same on the side now. Under eyes, I'm going to go in with like this blue liner and just see how that looks. That's kind of taken the look up a level. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put some black liner on and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so all I've done actually, I've gone and done a eye liner and I've added some of this Kevin Aucoin, um eye pencil in like navy blue. This is called Defining Navy and I've just popped that in my waterline to kind of tone down that bright blue that I had going on before um, and kind of make it a bit more smoky rather than just like colourful. And I quite like how it turns out. I'd forgotten I had this to be fair. And then I'm just going to go in now um, with a bit of this shade here, just called 1M, which I presume stands for 1 million. So this one here, that shade there. And I'm just going to pop that in like the inner corner. Just underneath the inner corner here. And I obviously I will highlight my inner corner with like, I just kind of think it will look nice. Okay, so just a little bit there and there with um, that shade. And then I'm going to highlight it with like a highlighter anyway. So it's kind of looking very smoky and wasn't really what I was planning. And I'm going to put a red lip on it. So I'm going to do my face now and kind of bring it a bit out a bit more. Excuse the hair by this point, it just looks awful. I'm just going to bring it down because it's not looking any better anyway. Okay, so, um, for bronzer, I'm not going to contour, or should I contour, maybe I should contour a little. So for contour, I really like the Berry Minerals um, Contour Palette, and I'm going to use shade 1, which is like, it's like a contour shade. And I'm going to use an Alexi, uh, a Luxy small contouring brush. very subtle it's not like in your face contour and then for bronzer I'm going to use a bronzer I've not used in a long time so I'm going to use um this is a, the Becca Chloe and Malika collaboration I've not used this a lot this is a bit of a shimmery bronzer though um 
they're called bronzing letters and they are very very bronzy there you go they are very very bronzy so before that i'm going to go in with um the chocolate bronzer from bourgeois this is very old to be fair probably shouldn't even be aware of using it but <laughs> Okay, again, I don't have like a new blush or anything. So with this sort of look, I kind of want to go for like a peachy blush. I'm going to go in with this one. So it's kind of a peachy, pinky kind of blush. This is called Drake. And I'm going to go in with a blush brush from Real Techniques. smile and then drag into my bronzer and I'm going to go in with a little tiny bit um, on my bronzer um, of these little pearls okay so I'm just going to go in with my highlighter which is the wet and wild this is in um, blossom glow I don't really like this highlighter it's a bit like pinky and white for me but I think it will look nice with the eye look um, so I'm just going to take like a fan brush with that one hi everyone so I had packed up, I had gone in back in the house because my camera was not working properly, I don't know what's going on. Um, and I feel it's all a bit cloudy in here, is it all a bit cloudy in here? I don't know what's going on. Um, but yes, so I've finished, oh, I had a few issues with my camera so it's all working again. So for my lips I used the Huda Beauty Flirt and then on top of that I used the um, MAC um, Kinda Sexy lipstick. And then on top, I went in with the Revolution Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. Um, this is what it looks like. It's in shade Candy. And I've got it over my lips now. It's very glossy. It does, it's got that tingly feeling to it. So I quite like that. Um, and it's quite nice. It's not bad. So I've pretty much finished my makeup look. I'm just going to go and stick some lashes on. And I'll be right back for my final thought. Actually, just before I stick my lashes on, I'm just going to go in with this palette, which is the Urban Decay Party Favour, which I got for my birthday. I'm going to bring it a bit closer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go in with a little brush. I'm going to go into shade Neon Moon. I kind of figured that would go a bit nicer, which is that one there. So this is the palette. It's beautiful. I'm going to go into Neon Moon, which is that lovely silver shade there. I'm just going to take that on a brush and kind of put that underneath my eye just because the other one was a bit gold and the glitter obviously is silver so I kind of figured that would go a bit nicer and I'm going to put a little bit in my inner corner too just to kind of give it a little I might even wet it let's wet it let's see what happens So when I wet it, oh wow, okay. It's definitely much more bright brint, I don't know if you can see that. But when it's wet, wow. It just kind of makes my inner corner pop a little bit more. That is beautiful. Look, can't wait to use a bit more. But I just wanted to give it a little something something, so this is what it looks like close up before I put any lashes on. I've just got mascara on at the moment. So I'm going to put my lashes on and I'll be right back. So that was an epic fail. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not going to stick lashes on because I'm going to go into this off anyway and go edit this video. So this is what my makeup looks like. So I quite like it. I love how my face looks. Um, I really wish that foundation was my shade. Um, but I think I've made it work. I don't think it looks too bad. It looks much better in real life than it does on camera. It looks a bit lighter on camera. Um, and I've just had to transfer all my files across to my um, laptop. So a couple of the scenes, um, the lighting was off. So I do apologise. I don't know what happened there. So the only products I thought, I really like the palette. I think the palette looks really, really well. It's really nice. It's pigmented for 8 95 You can't go wrong. If you like a little bit of 
pop of colour but nothing too much. This is a really good palette. Really like it. Colours blended seamlessly. Really, really like that. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury um, powder is amazing. My skin does look flawless. Um, it does look really nice and it kind of... it balanced out my skin tone a little bit as well so made it a bit more yellow which I quite like so yes this is a very good um, powder obviously I'm going to wear on top of my good foundations as well so but the foundation um yeah I do like it. I think it's nice it's um yeah it's not bad at all what else did I use um obviously I didn't really use a concealer can't wait to try this one I've got a bit more of a dark foundation on um so I only really used these three products that we knew which is a bit annoying so yeah so we'll just call this video playing with makeup um to be honest i've got a few bits i wanted to try i'm extremely gutted about this um should i just put on i think this is really hard to get off though um mama should i try and put this on i'm gonna try okay so i'm gonna go to bed anyway so it doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna pop it on so it's the packaging for this it's just beautiful isn't it it kind of looks like nail varnish to be honest when i first saw it and when it came out originally i was like oh my god it's like <laughs> it's like nail varnish but the applicator is very interesting as well it's kind of like quite different i've got swatches of like eyeshadow here ignore that but it's kind of very strange applicator so let's just see how we get on i don't want to like scratch my nails okay so let's bring it a bit closer Mm, wow. wow pigmentation my goodness me oh my god that was so easy Can I just say that this is all one swipe? And I have overdrawn my lips a little tiny bit. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I love a red lip anyway. But that was so easy to apply. You don't even need to line your lips. I always have to line my lips, even with the Cardi Jenner ones. I mean, it's not perfect because I've just kind of gone, I've I was trying to cover up where I'd rubbed off the foundation. So I've got huge lips. God, they're massive. So it literally feels like I've got nothing on my lips at all. It's so, so comfortable. I can't wait to get more colours now. I wish I'd got a couple more. Um, but hopefully it'll come in the sale again. Because I only paid £10 for this in the Boots Flash sale on Tuesday. They do um, Tuesday... 10 or Tuesdays or something like that, so it was a £10 instead of 20 but I can't wait to get more colours. Um, but I love, love this, I mean, not with necessarily with this eye look, it's a bit much, but wow. Beautiful, absolutely obsessed, literally obsessed. I love it, it's so nice. Let's see if it's dry and that it's transproof. It's not transfer proof entirely, but to be fair, I don't think it's completely dry yet. So yeah, I don't actually feel like I've got a lot of makeup on, although I do. I don't actually feel like there is a lot of makeup on on my face. So it feels quite light and nice, which is quite good. Oh my God, that's such a nice red. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so that's my um, new bits of makeup that I got um, over my birthday and stuff. I always say shake, shake what before you, so I didn't shake it at all. But as you could see, it applied pretty goddamn well. But anyway, I'm going to go because I need to edit this video yet. And I still need to go to bed because it's very, very late at night now. Half past 11. So anyway, um, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.